Okay, so um, thank you everyone for joining us. As I said before, we will start right now. Actually, we'll start right now. So thank you for joining us. And also, I really appreciate you being on the same base session today because you will actually be the first to know about some of the upcoming uh, promotional events that we have for Project Hive that we have recently uh, came up with. So that's some exciting news. And we do have some questions about the NFT staking process, the in-game tokens, and just generally more questions that we want to address to really help you understand what we plan to do with Project Hive. So um, again, today I am joined by the Chief Marketing Officer for Project Hive, Andre Gustamesov. Andre, thank you for joining us. And um, Hey guys, uh, how you hear me? Oh, you're 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 a bit a bit on the lower volume side of things. So we could, you know, if you could move up the volume, that would be really good. But outside of that, you sound really nice. Um, so if you don't mind, Andre, I think we should probably begin. I see we have more people joining us, which is which is great news. Um, so I think that it's a good time to start this. Again, thank you all. Uh, you guys for joining us today. We will have some new information on some of the upcoming events that we have planned for Project Hive, so this is really exciting. And we'll also cover some of your more, uh, I would say, most desired questions about the NFT and the staking process of this. So, Andre, are you good to go? Yes, yes, let's start. Okay, okay, that's great, that's great, let's begin. So, uh, we have a bunch of questions lined up, and the first question is really quite simple, but I guess it bears repeating because the community would really like to know the details on that. So, uh, we recently minted the NFT avatars, and the question is quite simple. Some of the users have asked us, <clears throat> what will the users get for holding those NFTs? So, for this moment, you can earn IGT in our non-custodial NFT staking pool. Just go to our website, uh, find their staking button, and check all instructions. You can also watch a short screencast instruction on our YouTube channel. We posted there some days ago. But I want to remind you once again about uh, what features and utilities our first NFT collection has. First of all, it's limited quantity, only 3737 NFTs are available and it will never be more than that. Uh, the second one is uh, an, a, a unique in-game visual aura for the players and character model. In-game attributes increase, access to the whitelist of the government's token IDO, hold, uh, holders of which will have a significant impact on the game's future, access to both custodial and non-custodial staking, which are at its core airdrops for the game's IGT tokens with sizable pools, access to additional promotional e events for the community, which we will let you know in the nearest updates, access to the whitelist for purchase of starter packs, which will include a cyber construct and a bundle of armor and weapons. So it, this is very important and uh, I want to remind you uh, this once again. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's been very in-depth. Again, uh, for more information on this, you can check out the staking page at the game's official website, which is project-hive.io. You can click on the staking button uh, up top on the top of the website and you will learn all about the staking process. Okay, so. The next question is this. You mentioned the in-game tokens. So some of the users uh, have asked us this. What is the value of one in-game token in dollars? On IDO, the cost of the token will be 0 0.0011 US dollars. So you can see the table uh, what we posted recently where we can compare it, the potential profitability of the token after IDO based on its capitalization in comparison with other projects. You can also check our pitch deck and white paper to learn and all features and tokenomics and so on. So 
uh, all information are there and uh, it's it, we, we will have it on our website we, we have it okay great thank you and since you mentioned the utility of the IGT what will the users be able to do with the IGT uh, in game and of it? so let's uh, talk a bit about uh, IGT IGT inner game token is the main game token of project hive ecosystem it's both minted on soul network and private in game chain and uh, could be transferred between chains freely token supply isn't limited but we have made sure to have an economic model that balances supply and demand based on players activity we believe that in the long run um, such an approach is the only way to stabilize token price and the economy as a whole uh, so there are two main activities in project hive players can take part in on every day basis uh, pve and pvp fights energy to play those fights is limited and restored each each day players should decide if they want to fight pve chapters with rewards uh, spend this energy for pvp rewards or do a bit above so daily rewards are limited to the amount of energy each player has we plan to make it so players can fully spend their energy pool in 30 minutes of playing on average amount of characters is limited to 10 per account so a player can decide if he wants to just play the game casually for 30 minutes or earn more rewards with other characters as well and spend up to almost five hours playing daily initially each player is able to earn up to 250 igt with in-game rewards daily this number can be lower based on activities player take part in for pve activities rewards are lower initially but scale with pv progression for pvp activities players get uh, the same daily rewards per each winning uh, fight but get reduced rewards if they lose the fight uh, so we can talk a bit about um, igt in crafting crafting is a core system of project hive all spendings and earnings uh, and the game economy itself is based on this system uh, through throw uh, research of the best RPG, gacha, and collection oriented games examples. Hive's team created this masterpiece taking the best of all worlds. So, there are seven grades of items. The lowest grade is crafted with IGT. Player chooses to craft weapon or armor. Resulting item is of a random slot type, stats, and attributes. If the resulting item is uh, of the wrong type and uh, or slot or didn't occur necessary stats and attributes it could be traded or accurate needed item via crafting attempt or purchase uh, purchased on the marketplace crafting price will never get lower than the initial rate and will slowly grow based on the number of active players all tokens spent in crafting are totally burned uh, to stabilize inflow and outflow amounts of IGT in Hive, Hive's economy. That's it. Okay, that's that's very in depth. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I think that's a very conclusive answer what what players will be able to do with the game token. Another question that the members of our community community had is this. Um, is there a way to verify the earnings from the staking process? Where can people check how much they earned from the staking? Once again, of course, you can use our official website page. Uh, go to our official website. Uh, after, go to our staking page. Uh, push on staking button. There you will see all instructions and uh, you uh, you will understand everything and everything will be clear for you. That's great. Thank you. Again, the website is project hive.io. Uh, click the staking button up top to learn more about this. And when will the people be able to actually get the IGT that they generated from the staking process? It's quite simple. Uh, after the end of staking period, uh, 
we will uh, give uh, every uh, every IGT tokens uh, what uh, what people will earn. Very well. And right now there is also a countdown on the game's website, so you can check out the staking page on Project Hive. .io, and you'll see that currently the staking is planned to finish on December 15th. Um, another question is this. Do users need to hold the NFTs to generate AGT, or do they have to do the verification as well? Uh, for the non-custodial pool, you need just hold it. So you just, you need just hold the avatars. Uh, so it's correct you don't don't need to do nothing else that's great that's great so just by holding the nft in your wallet you will passively earn in-game tokens which is i would say a very good deal um so next question are users able to transfer the nfts to another wallet will there be any problems with staking in that case uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, users uh, can um, can do wh whatever they want with their NFT, with, with their actives. So, um, IGT revenues is tied to a specific wallet in on which avatars are held. So, if you transferred um, your NFTs, uh, the re revenue will be tied to another wallet. Um, that's all. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So if you transfer your NFT to another wallet, the IGT generation will continue, but the IGT generation will be happening to the wallet you have transferred your NFT to. Um, next question is this. Do users have to stake the NFTs for the entire uh, staking period of 200 days to receive the generated income, or can they stake it for sometimes some period of the process and still be rewarded for the the amount of days that they have been participating uh in the staking at the end of the staking process in a uh, a non-custodial pool you get nft in, uh, in a in, in a non-custodial pool you get igt for every full day your work uh, if you want to sell your uh, NFT, you will still get those AGT that were accumulated earlier. Once again, uh, I want to draw your attention to the fact that we will soon launch a custodial pool with much greater rewards there um, where uh, you, you will need to um, lock your NFT and, uh, and that's why you will get um, more rewards. Okay, that's that's great. Uh, you know, uh, so there's a new pool coming up, so you will be receiving even more rewards for staking your NFTs. Speaking of uh, the new custodial pool, are there plans for any more community events, such as the community gathering event that was uh, finished up recently? Yes, it's correct. Soon we will launch at least two interesting events. In the first, we will draw about forty thousand dollars in hgt in the second a huge new collection of unique nfts first one will be able for everybody but the second one will uh, second one only for our nft holders follow the updates carefully and uh, don't miss the announcements you will see that it will be really good uh, really cool okay. yeah that sounds very exciting um, speaking of exciting upcoming plans, are there any plans for IDO and will the IDO be happening on Gamify, on Redkite or some other platform? Uh, we will tell you about the exact uh, platform for the IDO later, watch the announcements. For now, the plan is uh, for the IDO to take place at the end of May. However, the exact date is uh, affected by many factors including the market state and stability. Okay, again, that's very exciting news. So IDEO will be happening at the end of May, and stay tuned for more news on that front. 
Uh, and the next and the final question for today's AMA session is this. Uh, will it be possible to somehow boost or change the individual stats of the NFT avatars? Uh, interesting questions. Uh, question for now, no, it's not possible, but you know, we are always open to new ideas and uh, happy to consider any suggest suggestions. If you wish, you can go to our Discord and leave an idea for these mechanics there. Uh, we got a specific channel for this. I just ask you to describe the idea in more details. Uh, if you will do that, it will be great. We read everything what's happened in, Discord, in our Discord. Okay, thank you. So once again, if you have any ideas on how the boosting or changing the stats of the NFT avatars work, please let us know in the official Discord channel. Um, okay, uh, that was the last of the questions that we have planned for today. Again, hopefully you learned some new information on both the staking process of the NFT avatars as well as the IGT token and also some upcoming new events that are really, really fun and interesting and you will be able to earn more rewards by participating in them. So please stay tuned for more news on that front and as soon as we have any concrete information, you'll be the first to know. So with that, I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. That is the end of today's AMA session. Again, we will be posting a recording of this on our YouTube channel, so you can uh, re-watch the AMA session over there. And um, we'll also let you know about the upcoming AMA sessions uh, very soon. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the official Discord for Project Hive. And again, thanks everyone for participating and listening to us talking. Uh, Andre, thank you for uh, joining me in the same A session and answering the questions for our wonderful community. And I think this is a good time to wrap this up. So once again, thanks everyone for joining. Andre, thank you for being with me. Yes, and, yes, um, Andrew, thank you. Yeah. Thank you to you too. And uh, thank, thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, have, a nice, uh, have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice day, everyone. Great talking to you, and we'll talk soon. Okay. Um, goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.